Ooh, boy, it's been a week this week. Uh, team Keep It Clean, uh, there's been a lot of buzz around one Lamar Jackson. I mean, when is there not buzz around Lamar Jackson? But this week, it's been some different analysts uh, saying that he should not step foot on a football field until his contract is done. And just to give you a reminder, Lamar just completed his second year uh, of contract extension eligibility, uh, meaning that he's up to get paid, uh, but he still hasn't gotten paid yet. Uh, of course, Eric DaCosta, a couple of weeks ago in the presser, he let it be known like, hey, we're going at Lamar's pace. So he publicly put the ball in Lamar's court and said, hey, it's, it's on him. Uh, but then this week, Adam Schefter uh, was on Ari's podcast and they had a little clip that was floating around. Uh, where they were speaking about the Lamar Jackson contract situation. Um, and they were like down talking the fact that he is his own agent, him and his mom. Adam Schefter, you could tell he really didn't like that. Because you know Adam Schefter, he gets all his scoops and all his rumors and information and stuff from agents. But somebody as polarizing as Lamar Jackson, Adam Schefter, of course, he wants the end. He wants to know this is his job. And Adam Schefter is probably thinking, Lamar, you and your camp are taking food off of my plate because you're one of the top quarterbacks in the league and I can't get the scoop. But you, you could tell like Adam Schefter was not a fan of him being his own agent. Um, and, and then on top of that, uh, Ari in the clip where he spoke about, well, Lamar Jackson, he's, uh, he, he still doesn't have a deal done. Um, and he, he would want to get a deal done, especially with the way he plays football because he runs around all the time and he could get hurt on any play. Oh, my goodness. When I heard that, I was like, really? We still sticking with this? And it's, it's crazy because the two times where he got hurt, it was in the pocket. It was in the pocket. Well, the, the jock play came from uh, him. It actually came like a little outside the pocket, but it wasn't from him running around. It was from him. It was on a passing play. He threw the ball, and it was a completion too. So it's like, really? And then, of course, in the Bills game, the snap that went, well, but I don't feel like reliving that all over again. But, yeah, that, that narrative, it's like, it, I, it, it ain't never going to go nowhere. It ain't never going to go nowhere. But anyway, um. When they spoke, you, you could tell they, they were not fans of the situation. Um, and Adam Schefter said, hey, if I'm Lamar, I'm, I'm not stepping foot on the football field until that contract is done. But then Ryan Clark, he also spoke about the situation, but he put it in a different light. Now, he did say Lamar Jackson, he did talk about his play style, and he said that Lamar Jackson, he always going to be fighting for extra yards, always trying to make the play. But... When he spoke about him as far as the contract, he said, he said, if I'm Lamar, I'm not even taking a flight to Maryland. He said, I'm walking around Florida in bubble wrap. I'm not even taking a flight to Maryland. I'm not getting on a plane to Maryland unless they're ready to put pen to paper. But see, this is where it goes back to what Eric DaCosta was saying that publicly he said that it's in Lamar's court. But anyway, Ryan Clark, he, he mentioned how uh, with Lamar Jackson, he's already proven that he can carry a team. He's already proven that. He also spoke about how Tyler Huntley came in and he played well, but Tyler Huntley still was not Lamar Jackson. And, and that's something that we realize as well. Tyler Huntley did his thing. And we love Tyler. You know we love Tyler Huntley. But yet yeah, it was not Lamar Jackson. So, um, and then I love how Ryan Clark ended his segment with, yeah, Lamar Jackson... He should be the, high, the highest paid quarterback in the game. Now, I know that's probably not going to happen, especially because he didn't win the Super Bowl yet. But his contract will certainly be up there whenever it does happen. Uh, but a few things to talk about as far as Lamar Jackson not stepping foot on the football field until the contract is done. I don't see that happening. I, I don't see him not stepping on the football field until the deal is done. I, I do not think that this deal is going to get done this off season, I don't. I think he plays this year out on this $23 million fifth year option. I think that he just rides it out and he bets on himself. You know, it's funny because and a lot of people, and even in those two segments, um, Ryan Clark mentioned it and then Adam Schefter mentioned it too. Uh, usually, 
you would think like whenever they speak about a player focusing on football, usually that's a good thing. You, usually the players get praised for that. It's like, oh, th man, this player is just so focused on football. Man, they're not worried about the money. Wow, what an amazing attribute. What a great quality about that player, the way that they focus on football. That is amazing. Great job to whoever that play is. Their focus is football. They're not worried about all this contract talk. They're not worried about all this outside noise. They just want to play the game. Great for them. Not with Lamar Jackson. Though. See, with Lamar Jackson, him being focused on football, that gets turned into a negative. It gets turned into a negative. And it's like, really? The contract stuff is going to take care of itself. It is. And I know some people may say, oh, well, he, he needs to be focused on his contract. And since he doesn't have an agent, then he can't focus on football and focus on a contract. He's going to be pulling in two different directions. Well, again, maybe he doesn't want to do the contract right now. That's what it seems like to me. I, I really do believe, in my opinion, that he does not want to resign yet. And he really wants to see how these Ravens operate, how these Ravens build around him. If these Ravens can really build a, a, a wall, build this protection, build a unit around him as far as the offensive line. And then, no, the offensive line ain't going to be perfect, but the, the quality needs to be there. The, the, the offseason model for the Ravens this year needs to be quality. Now, last year, last offseason, I think they did a pretty good job overall. But the only place that they lacked quality was the replacement of Orlando Brown Jr. But as far as most other positions, they, they did pretty good overall. They had a really good uh, roster. And, it, yeah, best roster maybe since 2019. Um, but anyway, with Lamar Jackson, I just I don't anticipate him signing a deal. But I also don't anticipate him holding out either. Lamar Jackson has already been on record uh, saying that he's not going to hold out. Now, we know things can change, situations can change, but this is one of those situations and things that I do not think is going to change. I don't see Lamar Jackson holding out at all. I think Lamar Jackson knows, uh, his mom knows, his camp knows, like, yeah, he, he can play football this year. And he can play on that fifth-year option. And again, his value is only going to increase. Every single game that he plays, his value is just going to go up. It's going to go up because it's already been proven. It's already been shown that the Ravens, they, they can't do it without Lamar Jackson. They can't. They can't. They can get all the moral victories they want. They can get all these close games that they want. They can just be right there. But they cannot do it without Lamar Jackson. They can't. So, um, something that I've been saying all offseason too. Another reason why I don't think that he'll resign right now is because, yeah, I think he is going to bet on himself. I mean, remember when Flacco bet on himself? We, we ain't hear all this. Oh, man, he should have said, no. He bet on himself and it paid off. Let Lamar bet on himself. Because, again, his contract is only going to be higher. It ain't like if he plays this year, it ain't like his contract going to dip. No, it's only going up. It's only going up. And then the thing with that, um, if the Ravens, and y'all have heard me say this before, if Ravens sign, right, they sign him right now to a contract extension, it'll be for a lot of money. It'll be for a whole lot of money. But it's not going to be the most money that Lamar could possibly get. It's not. Because... He's coming off of last year where he didn't finish the season. And Ravens could be like, look, see, we, we got injury concerns for you. Look, see, the, oh, goodness. Oh, <laughs> people just be throwing this around. Oh, man, you, you got sick. You got sick. We, we, we got concerns over you getting sick. <laughs> anyway, because <laughs> it's a nasty business. It's a nasty business. And. Teams, uh, they will use whatever they can to drop your value. They will use anything that they can possibly do to drop your earnings, your pay, your salary, because they want to do what's best for them. They want to save as much money as they possibly can. They do. They'll still take care of you now, but at the same time, they still want to take care of themselves. 
So they're gonna try to find little every little thing, cut every little corner, and be like, um, uh, yeah. I mean, you you even got like, uh, even even Mink mentioned it. How he like, and this is from, from Ray, uh, Ravens directly. How he would do the incentive based contract for a top pay court. Like nobody's doing that. Nobody's nobody's doing that. An incentive based contract for a, a, one of the top QBs in the league, one of the top players in the league. Incentive based contract, a, a, a deal like that. No, no, no. You you like no. You can't do that. You can't do it. So it just with with Lamar Jackson, it's like so, so much of what he does is 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 always going to be looked at different. It's always going to be judged differently because he is so different, and the way he's doing things, he's shaking up the league. Like we mentioned earlier, this a, a deal of this magnitude with no agent. You know, a, agents don't like it. They don't like it at all because. Once this thing gets done, and if he still doesn't have an agent, oh my, they are going to hate this thing. They're going to hate it. They're really going to hate it. Because it's going to show more and more people like, hey, we can cut out the middleman. We don't need to have the middleman here. And we get to keep even more of our money. Like, how many times have you been in a situation? I know me in past jobs, like when I was a lot younger, <laughs> like when you first get a job and you, 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 you're signing up, you got to set up your direct deposit and all that stuff. And then it comes to that part. Now, this was when I was younger and I got older. I couldn't do that no more. But when I was younger, you set up your direct deposit. You set up, oh, which bank account you want your, your, your checks to go to. But then it comes to that part where, oh, would, would you like to sign up for health insurance? And I'm like, mm, how much is it going to cost? And they tell you, and I'm like, ah, no, I'll pass because I want more of my own money. Now, this is obviously not Lamar Jackson declining health insurance, but it is him and his people getting more of their own money. So with Lamar Jackson, keep focusing on football. The, the, the contract stuff, it'll work itself out. And again, if, if what Eric DaCosta said is true, it'll work itself out on your terms. If the ball is really in Lamar's court, then he's winning. He's winning because he is in control of everything. He's in control of everything. And it can get done when he's like really ready to get it done. And it's possible that maybe they gave him an offer and his people looked at it and was like, what is this? No, we can do much better than this. Much better. I would not be surprised if that was the case. I would not be surprised at all. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be, as it already has been, a very fun off season. Uh, a lot going on, as always. Um, but, yeah, I just I don't think this deal is going to get done. But I do think Lamar Jackson will still play football this year. I think he will be putting a lot of feet on the football field uh, this season. So. Let's see how it is. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. We out.